With the recent conclusion of the 2024 Paris Olympic and Paralympic Games, there is still a lot to discuss and analyze. One aspect that many viewers of these games might overlook is the use of advanced technology to ensure fair and accurate scoring across the range of athletic competitions. One such example is the use of radio frequency identification or RFID in racing events such as the marathon to capture extremely accurate results regarding the time it takes an athlete to complete the race. We will take a look at modeling active RFID that could be used in this or similar applications using Altair FICO. FICO is a comprehensive 3D electromagnetic design, simulation, and analysis software that allows users to customize and optimize a wide range of radio frequency devices. We will begin by creating a custom dielectric material that will act as the substrate of our RFID tag. FICO allows us to create a wide variety of custom materials for use in our 3D models. Next, we can begin creating the antenna by defining some 2D geometry using the built-in CAD interface in FICO. With this tool, we can customize the size of our geometry as well as its location relative to the work plane of our choosing. Using the same window, we can add multiple individual components to our geometry. To speed up the CAD process, especially on designs with repetitive structures, we can create unions out of individual components and then copy them throughout our model. The special copy and transformation options include translating, rotating, mirroring, and scaling selected sections. In the case of this RFID tag, we will use these tools a few times to generate the entire structure of the meandered dipole. Once all of our geometry is created and properly placed, we can create a union of the entire structure to ensure accurate analysis. Once the antenna itself is complete, we can move on to creating the three-dimensional substrate of the device. Again, the CAD interface in FICO allows us to define the shape, size, and location of our 3D geometry. After the geometry has been customized based on our exact design specifications, we can also define the material of that region. In this case, we will set the substrate as the material we defined earlier. The last step of generating our geometry will be to create a line for us to place our line port, source, and load on the device. Similar to other geometry options, we can define its start and end point within our geometry. Now we will begin adding more electrical characteristics to our model. This includes creating our wire port and defining its location on the wire. On our newly created wire port, we will add the source and load of our device. For the source, we will customize the voltage, magnitude, phase, and reference impedance. Similarly, we will define the impedance of our load. We can view and edit these parameters in the configuration panel of our simulation. FICO has an automatic meshing tool built in but there are several options to view current mesh data, customize global mesh settings, and apply local meshing to more complex regions. The last step we will take in CAD FICO is defining our simulation configurations. This is where we provide what kind of results we would like to see. This includes numerical outputs over a range of frequencies, such as S parameters, as well as 2D or 3D near field calculations and 3D far field patterns. Creating new configurations also allows you to alter various electrical aspects of the same model and run the same simulations concurrently for a comparison. Once we are satisfied with our model and simulation configurations, we will run the solver and navigate to PostFICO. PostFICO is the post-processing tool in the FICO suite and it allows us to visualize our results in a large variety of ways. 
One of the many types of plots we can create is a Cartesian graph displaying various parameters over the frequency range of the device. This includes the magnitude, phase, real component, or imaginary component of voltages, impedances, currents, or powers. We can also view S parameters, voltage standing wave ratios, and other results. We can even view any of these results on a decibel scale. In addition to plots, we can also view results in direct relation to the device. For example, we can display the total gain of the RFID tag, and there are several display customizations available. We can also view 2D results directly on the model, such as slices of the near-field results. These slices allow us to view various field data, such as the electric field, in and around the device. While the default is to show the magnitude of the field, we can also animate the results to show how the instantaneous value changes with phase. This has been a brief overview of designing and simulating an active RFID device in Altair Fico, but the applications of this tool are effectively limitless. If you would like to learn more about Fico, other electromagnetic simulation capabilities, or any tool in the Altair portfolio, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also reach out to us directly at trueinsight.io.